Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over a numerical question with you in Excel that will show you how you can determine the present value of an annuity when the discount rate during the term of the annuity is changing. In other words, the discount rate is variable. There's not a constant discount rate. So suppose a 15-year annuity pays $1,750 per month and payments are made at the end of each month. Okay, if the APR is 9% and it's compounded monthly for the first seven years, okay, and then the APR is 6% compounded monthly thereafter, what is the value of the annuity today? Okay, so clearly you can see that the discount rate is going to be different for the first seven years, it's 9%. For the remainder, which is eight years, it is 6%. For questions like these, I always recommend that you make a timeline first because it just helps you see the problem more clearly, more visually. And so notice that for the first seven years, which is 84 months, so this is seven multiplied by 12, you're gonna get 1750. Actually, 1750 is also the amount that you're gonna get for the remainder eight years, which is 96 months, so eight times 12. So the amount is not changing. However, you do need a separate timeline for these because the discount rate here is expected to be different and the discount rate here is expected to be different. Once you have made this timeline, I hope it is fairly intuitive for you to see that if you can figure out the worth of this annuity at this point, then you will not need to consider this because then you'd simply need to know at this point right here, A, what is the present value of this, of this present value that you've calculated? And then you can separately calculate the present value of this annuity and sum them up. So here's what I mean. Let's first figure out the present value of this annuity at this point. So you do equal to present value, the rate, is going to be 6%, but then divided by 12, because everything is on a monthly basis, the number of time periods is 96. That's the number of months in this annuity. The payment is 1750, so negative 1750. And because all the cash flows are happening at the end of each time period, you don't need to worry about annuity due or all that. So just do this and lo and behold, 133,166.63. That is the worth of this annuity at the end of the 84th month. So now if somebody asks you, what is the worth of this 133,166 here at time period zero? Actually, you can do that. You say, well, I just need to discount it back 84 months, except notice that for these 84 months, the discount rate is different, right? So basically you do equal to present value. The rate now is not gonna be 6%, it's gonna be 9% divided by 12. The number of time periods is gonna be 84 because that's the seven year time period for which you're discounting this lump sum amount. Notice there is no payment here because there's no constant number. Rather, there's one lump sum number in the future that you're discounting, which is just this guy. So I'm going to enter that as a negative. So the present value of this amount is 71,090. Okay, so now you've figured out the worth of this second hypothetical annuity that we've drawn. We still need to figure out the worth of this annuity at time period zero. That's actually rather simple. You'll do present value because during this time, the APR is 9%. You'll do 9% divided by 12. The number of time periods is 84. The payment is 1750 with a negative sign. That is it. You do that. Okay, so 108,769. So what does that mean? The worth of all this today is 108,769. The worth of this annuity is 71,090. So now you can literally sum these two up and say the present value of this entire annuity is 179,859.81. And so this is the present value of this annuity today. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.